and are you feeling a little extra tired? Guess what? You're not alone and are flying cars in the near future. 12 and 12 starts right now. 12 minutes, no commercials on TV and on the go on the 12 News app, Facebook and YouTube. Hey guys, it's Tram here. In today's talker, Arizona Senator Martha McSally is defending her actions after she called a CNN reporter a liberal hack. This story is making national headlines as McSally stands by her remarks, even tweeting about the interaction. The reporter was asking our senator about considering new evidence for President Trump's impeachment trial. So we want you to weigh in. Do you think McSally's response was appropriate? Cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or comment down below if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. The results just minutes away. Hashtag most clicked. Here are the stories piquing everyone's interest right now. Peoria police are looking for a puppy thief. The woman is accused of posing as a customer with the intent to steal puppies. Aaron Lewis, a French bulldog breeder, says the woman inquired about buying an eight week old Frenchie with a rare chocolate coat. But when Aaron and the suspect went outside for the payment, well, the woman got in her car with the puppy, locked the doors and then sped off. Aaron grabbed the door handle and the suspect dragged him down the road, giving him second degree burns. Aaron later learned the woman tried to steal other French bulldogs, one from a breeder who met her at the parking lot at Desert Ridge Mall and another at a breeder's home in Glendale. Coming in at number two, police have identified the victim who was found dead inside a car in North Phoenix. That car was sprayed with gunfire. According to officers, the victim is 21 year old Luke Allen Ahmed Treadwell. Investigators say they responded to the call yesterday morning near 32nd Street and Shea Boulevard. It's an agony, but it's also comfort. You know, I, I, I often just walk into the closet and smell his clothes. You know, I, I run my hands over things that I know that he was there. I sit in his office and I just pretend he's sitting there with me. Oh, so incredibly sad. The widow of a Gilbert man killed in a terrorist attack is telling her story. Dustin Harrison was working as a defense contractor in Kenya. He was killed earlier this month when an Al Shabib terrorist group attacked his airbase. Dustin's wife says he was a hero both home and abroad, and his loss leaves a hole in the family for her and their young daughter. Now let's get to saving you money. The Office and some of your favorite shows are leaving Netflix very soon, but don't panic. They'll be back on NBC's new streaming service called Peacock. Now, before you shell out money for another digital service, know that there will be a free option. Peacock will carry more than 600 movies and 400 series, including original content. That service will be available this spring. Now for your pulse on health. How often do you clean your bathroom? Well, we hate to pick on millennials again. But a new study finds that generation is slacking on the cleanliness. According to a new poll, millennials clean their bathroom just once a month. Ooh, that's much less than the tiny baby boomers who usually clean the bathroom at least once a week. The average person is expected to spend up to 70 days cleaning the bathroom over their lifetime. Well, if the whole new year, new me just isn't really working out for you, today might be the day to just throw in the towel. Mm -mm. January 17th is National Ditch Your Resolutions Day. How sad is that? Only about 44% of people keep up with their resolution after six months, and 80% of those goals ultimately fail. If you're feeling extra tired lately, oh, you're not alone. Join the club. A new study shows we got less sleep in 2019 than in 18. Americans average only five and a half hours a night last year. That may explain why napping was more popular, with people taking 115 midday snoozes in 2019. Well, many of us are trying to eat healthier, but that can be hard when you eat out. So here's some advice on how to eat smarter while away from home. Experts advise doing some research ahead of time and see if the menu is online. That will help you make healthier choices. Also, avoid deep fried foods and ask for butter, toppings, sauces, or salad dressings to be served on the side. Stay away from sugary drinks, sweet tea, and alcohol, and stick with water. I know, so boring, right? Finally, set aside half of the meal before you begin to eat, so then you could take it home for leftovers. Well, congratulations, folks. We have made it to the weekend. Here's Crystal with your forecast 411. Your weekend itinerary looks awesome, and so does the weather. 
to start both races for the Rock and Roll Marathon Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures starting out in the mid 40s. We'll see a mixture of some sun and clouds. Then save the day by taking the family to Superhero Saturday with some awesome food and benefits going to charity in Phoenix. 72 degrees for maximum on the thermometer. Then head over to the Desert Botanical Garden. I'll see you there for a dog's day in the garden. You can get a canine caricature, an awesome family furry photo with your fur babies and your human children will love it too. 58 degrees in the middle of that event. We'll be cracking 70 in Carefree Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5 for the Fine Art and Wine Fest. Then more fun in Casa Grande. Head over to Historic Downtown for the Fair Car and Bike Show. That's both Saturday and Sunday starting at 10. Man, it's going to be tempting, though, if you have a three-day weekend to sleep in with those clouds anchored overhead, especially on Martin Luther King Day. But temperatures stay nice and mild. Enjoy it in the afternoon. All right, folks, here's something to look forward to. Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scouts from around Arizona will be picking up nearly 3 million boxes of cookies today. Again, there goes those resolutions. Then come Monday, more than 11,000 girls will be walking around the neighborhoods and hanging out in front of local stores, maybe even hitting you up, you know, inside the workplace, at least their parents are, selling those delicious cookies. And order me up some Samoas, could you? Well, now to a story that is gaining traction for anyone who runs marathons. Nike's Vaporfly shoe, the latest version worn by the man and woman who hold the marathon world records, is reportedly said to be banned. The company that regulates these races say that these shoes have foam and carbon fiber in the sole, which gives the runners an edge in each of their strides. Officials say they will make a decision by the end of the year. And get this, Ben & Jerry's is ready to Netflix and chill when it comes to flavors. This new flavor is peanut butter ice cream with salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownies. Ah, oh, yum. It is a made-for-TV dessert that should make any binge session better. Netflix and Chilled is shipping now, rolling out to stores where Ben & Jerry's is sold. Well, now for your daily juice. Music fans are celebrating. That's because rapper Eminem released a surprise new album. The music came out today. The 20-track release is titled Music to be Murdered By. It's available on music streaming services like Spotify, Apple Music, and Amazon Music. Toyota is making a bet on flying cars. The company is investing nearly $400 million in Joby Aviation, a California company that's been working on electric aircraft for more than a decade now. They'll design and build a fleet of aircraft that take off and land vertically for use in a ride hailing service. Now the aircraft seats five, including the pilots. So where is a pilot? Has, and it has a top speed of 200 miles an hour and it can travel 150 miles on a single charge. Joby recently teamed with Uber to also create an air taxi service that should be running by 2023. Well, we want to wish a very happy, happy 98th birthday to an American legend, Betty White, the six-time Emmy winner with a small and big screen resume spanning more than seven decades has really become our nation's sweetheart. Betty has been quoted as saying, I have no regrets at all, none. I consider myself to be the luckiest old broad on two feet. Betty is said to be spending the day with family. Good for her. Well, time now for A to Z 60, where we celebrate the people, places, and things that make the Valley so awesome in just 60 seconds. The city of Phoenix is testing out e-scooters, but before you hop on one, do you know the rules? Crystal has a refresher in today's A to Z 60. Chances are you've likely seen more of these zipping around town lately, so here's the 411 on e-scooter etiquette. Hi, Crystal. Oh, hi. My name is RJ Price. I'm with Downtown Phoenix, Inc. I couldn't help but notice you weren't wearing a helmet while you were riding an e-scooter. We really do suggest that you keep your noggin safe by wearing one of these helmets. Whoa, 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 Crystal, hold it right there. In Downtown Phoenix, we ride our e-scooters in the street. Hello? Hey, let me call you back. We're filming right now. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be talking on the phone while scooting either because the rules that apply to drivers also go for riders too. So don't be distracted and stay alert. Sorry, you are out of the set geofence. What is happening here? We'll turn off the throttle. Please go back. Oh, you again? 
That beep means you're in a restricted zone. E-scooters in downtown Phoenix are geofenced to prevent them from going in public spaces like the convention center or Chase Field and even ASU. I actually have one more tip for you. In downtown Phoenix, you have to park your e-scooter in one of 400 designated parking spaces. Simply park it and ride, submit the photo, and you're done. And that's your A to Z60. Am I gonna keep bumping into you? Such a good refresher. Okay. Well, back to today's talk. Our Arizona Senator Martha McSally is defending her actions after she called a CNN reporter a liberal hack. So we wanted to know from you, do you think McSally's response was appropriate? Apparently 27% of you say yes, it was appropriate. 73% of you say no, it was not. Keep on voting on 12news.com slash bullhorn. And for those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, feel free to comment down below. Time now for the look ahead, the stories you'll be talking about a little later on today. Coming up later this afternoon on First at Four, intermittent fasting really has become one of the top diets. It is so popular these days. But we want to know, is it healthy for you? We're hearing from doctors on this controversial way of losing weight. And that's your 12 at 12, the facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes, no commercials. We're always on anywhere, anytime on 12news.com, the 12 News app, and our socials as well. Make it a wonderful Friday, everyone, and a great weekend. We'll see you back here again soon. Now let's check in with Destry, who seems to have a cute little new co-host on Arizona Midday. Coming up on Arizona Midday, meet this.